friends, um, this is a bit of a delayed video. I was tagged by um, Christy, the former Mrs. Jones, at least a month ago. Uh, but this is the 1010 money tag, aka 10 things I wish I knew about money 10 years ago. Um, here goes. Okay, first off, I'm 28 years old right now. So 10 years ago, I was 18. And, um, had just kind of taken over, um, had not been doing my finances, for my own finances for very long. Um, and I started making the majority of the bad money decisions that I've made in my life at 18. I went to college um, and started, took out a ton of student loans. I uh, got my first credit card um, and promptly charged it all the way up. Uh, that, that I learned to not do anymore in college, but I am obviously still dealing with the student loans as I am uh, just I am under $15,000 in debt right now, which seems weird to smile about, but considering that at one point I had th almost $33,000 in debt, being below $15,000 in debt, all student loans actually feels pretty good. So. The first thing I wish I knew is that it's possible to go to college without student loans. Now I worked from the time I was like 15. So I, um, I was a nanny at one point. I did babysitting. I um, got paid for being counselors at various camps. I um, did a little lifeguarding work. I did, um, I was a waitress at a restaurant my entire senior year um, and junior year. And I, so I was making money. And then when I was in college, I was working at the campus newspaper, which was paid. I was working at the local newspaper, which was paid. I did um, night cleaning work at an ice cream shop. Um, I worked occasionally for a catering company. I did dog walking and pet sitting. I was making money. And but I was spending it all. I was putting it all away. Now, because I didn't keep any kind of budget at the time, I couldn't tell you if I was actually making enough to put towards my student loans and eliminate them completely, but I was making enough to not have to take out extra student loans to live off of, I guarantee that. Um, so I wish that I had applied for more scholarships. I wish that I had um, basically done anything possible to not have to take out student loans. To me, it seemed like everyone was doing it and that there was no other way I could pay for college. Um, no one really presented me with any other options. I knew that my family wasn't going to kick in at all and that it was it was up to me. So yeah, I, um, I wish that I had been receptive and I wish that I, someone had told me that I had been receptive enough to realize that it was a fe feasible path to do college without student loans. Um, because I'm a very determined person and I really think that if at 18 I really, really wanted to go to college without student loans instead of just really wanting to go to college, I um, could have made it happen. So, alright, um, number two, I wish that I had um, known basically what a 401k was and that at my very first job I had uh, signed up for it. Now, I don't know how much money I lost or how much it would equate out to be in the future if I had signed up for a 401k at my first job, which offered it, and a match. I remember they had a match, um, but I remember when I did all the sign-up paperwork, they were like, and do you want a 401k? We have company action. I was like, no, no, no. I don't know what that is. I don't understand it. In my head, I was thinking, I'm too young for this. I was just completely unknowledgeable. I was thinking this is another thing that they have to take out. They're already taking out health and they're already taking out all these taxes. I just want my money. And uh, I wish that I had opted into the 401k plan at work because I would probably have a lot more money in my 401k right now. Um, the second job didn't offer a 401k and the job I'm at currently doesn't offer one. Um, but down in Hammond, they had a really good match. So I did contribute to it when I was down there. Not a lot. Not really enough to offset my debt. But it, um, there'd be a lot more in that account if I had taken the 401k at my very first job. So it still hurts me a little to think of the money that I lost out that was free money that the employers would have given me just if I had contributed a little bit to my future. So most of this is going to boil down to being knowing things that, yeah, knowing things that I didn't know then, being smarter and being more well informed and more educated. Um, number three. I wish that I had had an emergency fund 10 years ago. 
because all sorts of crazy things happened in college. You know, my freshman year, I got into a car accident, and I didn't have the money for a new car. I didn't have an emergency fund. I didn't have m money week to week. Um, you know, I was always waiting for the next paycheck to see, to be able to do anything to pay my bills. And I, I didn't have savings. <laughs> um, I, I think I, I would occasionally set up a savings account at the same bank I had a checking account at and put like $50 in it and then promptly at least the next month pull the $50 out and end up having to close the savings account because that's how little I saved. So I would have been able to eliminate a lot of stress, especially like car repair related stress and uh, all sorts of things if I'd had an emergency fund. So I, I very much, much wish I'd, I'd known and been able to take action on that 10 years ago at 18. Whew, 18 me was dumb, by the way, if you're not catching on to that yet. All right, number four is I wish I had known to save for the future at 18. I mean, I knew the concept of saving and I knew that you should save, but it never seemed like a real thing that I could do, just kind of doing odd jobs here and there and not being, you know, being a full-time student and then just probably working 20, 30 hours a week doing other stuff. Um, it just, I, I wish I had known that I needed to save for the future now, um, as in 10 years ago now. Um, I, I always thought of that as something, you know, you'll do in the future when you have a job and have money. And you'll just never... <laughs> I'm joking. I will. I will. But, um, yeah, I, saving is a priority from day one. And I, I just didn't realize how big of a priority it was. All right. Number five. Um, I wish I had known about sinking funds and more saving. I wish I had known that you always need to be saving for things that are going to go bad, which seems really basic. <laughs> um, now I'm always saving for a new car. Um, at, at least um, for once my laptop is about a year old, I start saving for a new laptop because I know I'm going to need something, a new one eventually. You should always be saving for those things that you're eventually going to need to replace. It's just common sense. I didn't have that. <laughs> um, for homeowners, you know, you're always, you should always be saving for that next roof because you know it, you're going to need new roof every X amount of years or you know you're going to need new appliances every X number of years. And it's not a surprise when, or it shouldn't be a surprise when they give out things have planned obsolescence. They're, or they're going to go bad eventually. Your phone's going to go bad. Your computer's going to go bad. Your car's going to go bad. And you're going to need a new one eventually. Um, and if I had known, <laughs> if I had realized that in my dumb 18-year-old brain, then I probably would have um, attempted to save for future cars or future laptops or something. Actually, I probably wouldn't have. But I wish I had known what I know now 10 years ago on that. <laughs> okay. Um, number six this many fingers, not this many. Um, I wish that 10 years ago I had known that you need a financial plan or a plan in any way in general. Uh, my plan at the time was graduate high school, go to college, get a job, which is not a detailed enough plan. <laughs> um, you need a plan for your money and you need a, a, a more overarching plan for your life. And even though, you know, God laughs when you make plans, you need something in place to give you guidelines. So especially some sort of budgetary plan for where your money's going and what bills are coming up and what you're gonna need to accomplish soon. Um, also just kind of thinking more along the lines of where you're going and what you're doing um, and what are the next things that you wanna strive for. So, all right, number seven is, I wish I had known at 18 that credit cards are a complete and total scam and that cash is king. Um, like I said, at 18 years old, I took out my first credit card. I um, think I had a $500 limit. Within a couple of months, I had it charged up. Um, I was only paying the minimum payments. Um, and then I got another credit card, I think it was a Walmart credit card, and it was a $1,000 limit. And within a few months, I had it charged up. Uh, they ended up closing that one on me and I had to pay it, pay it off. Um, and I did have both of those paid off before I was done with school and basically told myself you're not doing this again because I was treating it like the limit that I had was money that I had in the bank. Now I totally believe that you spend more when 
you use a credit card. But I know that my issue with it was that I, you know, you, you go shopping and you think, okay, I have X amount in the grocery budget. I was thinking, all right, I have $30 in my bank account, but I have $200 on the Walmart card. But it wasn't a gift card. I had $200 worth of credit left on the Walmart card, and I was thinking that is cash that I owned that I could spend instead of money that I had to borrow from someone and pay back. And I knew, logically, that I had to pay it back, but it wasn't that was a future me problem <laughs> and not a not a current me issue so that was that was the issue there um, now that I haven't used a credit card in years and that I just pay money for things and if I don't have the money for it then I don't buy it yet um, obviously that is a much better way to live okay number eight is that I wish I had known that you shouldn't compare yourself to others um, and to what they have um, and that I didn't need to keep up with my classmates and the nice things that they had um, because especially in my sorority I was a I was in a equate brand <laughs> sorority a social club called the troubadours and um, several of my um, fellow sisters had money to burn um, or at least they acted like they did um, you know either parents were funding them or they were better with money than me but I was a uh, I would just spend and spend and spend on especially stuff for that and you know I'd see you know cute things in other people's dorm rooms and they'd say oh I got it here and I'd rush to go get the same thing and I'd you know you just want to have the cutest dorm room and the cutest clothes and you know to be able to go on every Taco Bell run or every Walmart run um, of you know people of your friends you know when they go because that's socializing and it was just I was trying to keep up with my classmates beyond my income level so uh, yeah that was an issue it wasn't yeah that's that's probably where a lot of the Walmart credit card debt came from <laughs> and um, the money that I took out extra in student loans to live off of a lot of that went to like cute decor for my dorm room and um, buying things for like my my sorority littles and stuff like that and uh, getting to spoil them and be the good big sister uh, so that was that was definitely something I wish I had not done to excess so much. Okay, uh, number nine. I wish that I had not taken out extra student loan money for living on, um, which I mentioned in the first one. I wish I hadn't taken out student loan debt at all, but I especially regret taking out probably an extra grand a semester to live off of. Now, the student loans that I took out paid for my room and board, my um, all of my tuition and um, you were allowed to take out a little bit of extra to buy your books and to um, do other things you need to there was a certain cap that you could get on each uh, on each loan level you, you could get so much through unsubsidized Stafford loans and so much through subsidized and the very first semester I did it I only took out exactly what I needed for tuition so I didn't know any better but then I learned that everybody else was taking out extra to live on and I started doing that too. And that money just got blown on all the stuff I've talked about before, you know, presents and Taco Bell and Taco Bell was like college <laughs> um, and all this other stuff. It's a lot of eating out, especially when I had a meal plan in the cafeteria that I didn't use all the meals for. So it was, uh, I, I lived off of that money, but it was usually gone within a couple months. So, uh, and I always thought I'll save it just in case, you know, I'll open a bank account, a savings account, and I'll save it, and I'll put, you know, I'll, I'll take out $1,200, I'll put 1000 in there, and that'll just be in case something comes up that's an emergency. Um, so I borrowed my emergency fund, and then an emergency would come up, probably um, a, a trip to the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Cheese dip was an emergency. Cheese dip is still kind of an emergency, but I pay cash now. Alrighty, um, and last one, number 10. I wish that 10 years ago I had known that the decision at, decisions I was making then would affect me 10 years from now. I, I don't know why I thought they wouldn't, but there was no way at 18 I thought that I would be at all affected at 28 
by the decisions I was making at 18. I thought that, you know, 10 years from now, I would be making good money and a good job, and I would, you know, I just, I had no idea what journalists made. I, d I didn't know. <laughs> Um, I thought it would be enough to pay off my student loans real quick and just, you know, live and travel and do whatever I wanted. Um, so stupid is the, is the overwhelming theme here. But I, um, I had no idea that the decisions you make today can affect you 10 years from now, positively or negatively. Now I know that at 38, the decisions I'm making today will absolutely affect me. The decisions I'm making today to pay off debt, to save, to set myself up um, job-wise and for the future, um, decisions I make towards my retirement are absolutely going to affect me 10 years from now and for the rest of my life. So I definitely did not have a grasp on that at 18 years old. Um, so I would love to know what um, what decisions you regret from 10 years ago because this is kind of a fun tag. Um, it's you know it's kind of a tough tag to talk about and to watch other people talk about because I watch most of the other videos like I did that, oh I did that, oh and you have to really kind of it's a come to Jesus tag and you know nobody likes come to Jesus meetings but I, I am okay doing that with you guys None of this is secretive for me. You know, I, t I talk about stupid decisions that I've made. Um, it's, it's a little different to however I put that in the perspective of how, how a decade <laughs> makes a difference in that. So, yeah, I was dumb then, then and I'm, I'm dumb now, but I'm less dumb. So, uh, and, and you know, 10 years from now, I'll be even less dumb than I am now. I'm just getting a little smarter, a little wiser every day and every year. So, um, but that's life, right? So, uh, like and subscribe or something. I will have, um, I'll have more videos soon. Bye.